This video shows you how to produce a half drop repeat pattern. To go along with the video, there is a written help sheet. If you would like this resource, just ask. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to do a repeat pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So select Adobe Illustrator from the programs and you'll get a window that looks something like, like this. So if you select a new document, and it's a basic CMYK for the printer. You can put your name in at this point. We're going to call this one repeat pattern. That's what we're showing you how to do. So your width needs to be 100 millimeters, and your height also needs to be 100 millimeters. So put those measurements in and click OK. So you'll get a square page that looks like that. And in this square, we're going to start to put our images for our repeat pattern. It's by um, placing your images that you've previously saved. So go File, Place. And in the folder where you save your images, find your picture. Now you may need to zoom out at this point and have a look at the size of your picture. You can see it's slightly too big, so we're gonna hold the shift key. And what that does is it helps us to resize the picture without uh, skewing the proportion. So we've held shift and resized it from the top corner. And we're gonna place it somewhere at the top left hand corner of our square. Our second picture, again, file place. Uh, resized as needed. And put that in place. File place. Third image going in. So you can see three separate images, all with the same theme, and they're being arranged inside our 100 millimeter square. Just to make it slightly more interesting, we're going to put one on an angle. So if you hover off the top corner, you will see your rotate tool, uh, 45 degree angle, looks good. And then once you're happy with your arrangements, uh, we just need to make sure that our images are transparent. So if you click on the different pictures that we have, go to your transparent tool on the right toolbox, right hand side toolbox, and change the transparency to multiply. So that will help to get rid of any backgrounds or boundary lines that might be on your pictures that you found. So we've got our pattern and we're going to repeat this. So we select all the images by drawing a box over them and click the enter key. So now we get the option to uh, put in some measurements. We're going to create our repeat pattern by changing the horizontal uh, offset by 100 millimeters. The vertical offset is going to be minus 50. That's going to put it at an angle for us. So this is what we call a drop repeat pattern. So we're going to select it again. If you click the enter key again, it will repeat the last thing you did, which was the horizontal 100 and the vertical at minus 50. This time we're going to change it to 200 though. The second vertical one we're going to change to zero and we're going to click OK. So now we've done the drop pattern and we've offset it again this time by 200. If we select all of that we can very quickly copy it by um, pressing the enter key This time changing the horizontal to zero and the vertical to minus 100. So now we have our pattern that we can just simply start to repeat by drawing a box over. Control, D. 
control, dig again, and you can see it start to get bigger and repeat. So now we have our half drop repeat pattern. The next thing we're going to do is add in our background colour. So to do that, we're going to use the basic shapes tool. So select the rectangle tool and draw a box over your half drop repeat pattern. Our fill at the moment is white, so we have a white square covering our pattern, which we need to send to the back. So if you go to Object, Arrange, Center Back, our white square has now gone behind the pattern. Now we need to choose a suitable colour, so if you click on the fill palette, double click. If you double click that you get a whole spectrum of colours to choose from. You need to select a harmonious colour that's not going to overpower your pattern. Click OK. And there we have our background. Next we need to resize our page. If you go to File, Document Setup, we can change it to a printable size such as A4 and click OK and we need to make our pattern fit inside the A4 by using the select tool so we're going to select the direct selection tool and we're going to select everything that we've done and control G to group that's control G to group everything that we've done now we can resize it by holding shift to keep the portions holding shift at the same time as resizing the the images down and putting it in position of our A4 page and we are ready to print so if we go to file print check your settings are correct uh, you, you're printing to color and click print now all that's left to do is use your wrapping tool Okay, have a go at that and have some fun with it and enjoy. This video shows you how to produce a half drop repeat pattern. To go along with the video, there is a written help sheet. If you would like this resource, just ask.